animism. You know what you know what animism is? Does anyone not know what animism is? So animism is like a um, traditional sort of cultural perspective where everything is intelligent and alive. Like everything has a spirit or soul, right? So like, for example, my culture, Shinto and Japanese culture, like I grew up with that to some degree, right? So it's like everything is like you bow to it, you like make offering. Like in Balinese culture, you make offerings to the local spirits, like, you know, in, in uh, native culture, you, you honor the wind or the sun, right? You have dances, you personify them, you name them, and you make them sentient and alive so that you can relate to them, okay? Then that psychologically over time when it's ingrained in you, you live within a milieu of alive intelligence that you're in interdependence with. And that's the world you live in, which is way less lonely than a purely scientific, everything's object and dead universe. Can you imagine, right? It's massive, the, the impact of that on, on the human consciousness. And the more I realized human consciousness is so deeply attachment oriented, it becomes became more and more significant, right? That realization. So actually actively personifying the universe is from an attachment perspective, from a nervous system perspective, could be kind of intelligent, right? It can have its pros and cons too, obviously. But, so that's part, part of the point here. Um, so being embraced by the space, imagining the space around you is alive and intelligent, right? 